God bless everybody. I just basically want to do this video real quick. Um, May 27th, the Lord showed me a vision. Um, basically the vision he showed me about hell. And um, I know I, I didn't expect that, that the Lord would show me a vision of hell because I never really wanted those type of visions. I always fr uh, frowned upon that. Uh, and run away from that type of stuff. Um, I always wanted to see like visions of ha heaven and stuff. But um, the Lord decided that he wanted to show me these things and to eventually tell it to um, to you guys, to the public, so that people would understand um, the severity of God and to fear him um, and rather just see him as just love all the time but he is love but he's also judgment as well so um i'll take it through it uh take you through it a little bit um i try to be um most uh, more detailed as possible and to tell you everything um how i saw it so um after my birthday the day after my birthday me and my wife we pray before we go to bed um, to ask the Lord to show us things, show us visions. And eventually this night, um, we, we went to bed and I woke, um, it was like in a dream. I know it was like a, a different feeling of me waking up, but I was feel, I don't know if I was in my body or I don't know if the Lord decided to take me out or it was like sort of like what Paul said in the word. He says that I know uh, in my body, I know not, you know, out of my body, I know not. No, but it, I didn't know. It was like I was in the spirit and he, I, I was, but I was seeing a perspective of someone else. Um, and I could see that this person, particular person was not saved. And he, he was thrown off of cliff some way or another i just saw the perspective of him falling off the cliff and when he fell off the cliff i saw it from the exact same perspective of me going down we was going down and boom he hit the ground full of rocks boom we hit the, br the ground and then i believe he died on impact because his eyes went down and i was experiencing that his eyes went down so uh, when after that, it, everything went black. So everything went black, and I feel the sensation of the, us going down. And when we went down, immediately this man was in chains. He was in bondage of a demon, a demon the size of, like I never seen the size of this creature before in my life. The size of this creature was beyond any beastly creature on earth it was like if you ever seen a secular film um i don't advocate for secular films but you ever seen the film star wars and don't quote me on it but the uh creature i believe his name is jabba the hut so he's like he's like a big sluggish kind of creature that's how the best i could describe he looked like and he looked just like that. So he, so that demon was huge, but much more uglier, had sharp teeth, and bigger than a shark. shark. And he was holding that man, holding him in bondage. And the other demons was like interrogating him. It's like, you was doing this in the world. And they were just giving, just telling him his sins and, and just shaming him and, and guilting him and he was afraid man i can feel the fear on him when you go down there is you could feel the fear it's this is a fear that grips you you know and uh it is it, is a scripture that says um perfect love cast out all fear you know fear is not of god fear is of the devil and uh he tries to bring fear into people and that's what all is down there you know um and uh, when I was when I was looking around this like cave type of environment, and it's very dark and disgusting, 
everything is disgusting my hell and there's no hope down there you feel like you don't have any hope you feel like you don't have any any way out you know that the when you get in there there's an entrance but then you know that you're not getting out you just know so and when I was there I, I knew the Lord was by my side so I felt the Lord at least to enough to to know that he was there and experiencing these things I know that Lord was helping me experience it go through it so um, as I was experiencing these things I was like like wow I know exactly what this man was doing on earth he was like in the uh, mafia and he was you know doing a gang lifestyle living a um, you know a sinful lifestyle he was uh, he was living you know for himself he didn't love God he didn't have a relationship with Jesus at all he was living a life full of murder you know money drugs selling it you know and that caught up to him and eventually when he died that's when he fell off the cliff and that's when he's there now and i'm experiencing this and i'm seeing it for myself in my own eyes and i know if i'm in my carnal body i know i cannot experience that by my own flesh the lord is allowing me to see it and he's blocking certain things that I that my mind will not be able to take, and he's he allowing me to see what I can handle. So I'm just seeing it for how it is. This guy, uh, the demon that was holding them, they was just mocking him. Ruthless, these demons are. The ugly creatures holding them, and the, the big demon now began to press in his neck and bite his neck and his blood just scattered everywhere. Oh man, it was just gruesome. And it was like his flesh open, you could see in the throat, like blood everywhere gushing. And he gargled on his blood and he felt everything and he was in excruciating pain, but I can't help, I couldn't help him. You know, um, but that was just the least of his, that was the least torture torment that I saw. That was like the the, the lowest of the uh, tears of pain on his of, of his torments. He had worse of torments, and I will take it through it at um at each torment. Uh, it don't make sense, but it's because it's, it was you know in hell. There's things that don't make sense to us because there's it's like supernatural things. And the natural man does not understand the uh, supernatural things you know and it's hard for you to understand but i understood it when i was there and i understood that this place is just meant for torture and just straight torture for torment for souls that don't know lo the lord just straight up that's all it's meant for despair this sick mind games that these demons play on you, sick sickness, everything that the God is not, that is what hell is. There's no godly attributes. There's no love there. There's no kindness. There's no health. There's no none of that. There's ruthless. Anything you could think of is worse. Any more sadistic murderer mindset or anything they could think, this demons think the worst types of tortures. So I carry on, and I saw after they they took his his throat out, ripped it out, and they bit that big demon did, ripped it out, or ripped it all basically. He went back to normal, and he his body replenished itself. So he moved on, and this Lord help me. The demon now began to rip his eyes out, his eyeballs out. You know, just pluck it out. He felt the pain, blood gushing out of his eyeball. He experienced the torment for what it is. You know, he he was he was suffering. Once again, I can't help him, but I'm just I have to watch. The Lord wants me to watch. 
everything that I'm seeing so that I can relay it to you. So a message to you. So, so um, after that, he 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 got tormented with that. The next thing was this is graphic as well. At this point, if you have children, you want them to leave the room. You can if if you can't handle it, you can leave the room. But I just warned you, this is graphic. The next thing that happened was they took this man, the soul, and they forced him to go on all of his fours, and they began to sodomize him, and began to rape him. Um, but um, one of the forms of sodomy, it was just so perverted, was they, what the demons are like, very tall. Demons are like 15 feet tall, 14 feet tall. Imagine that size. They're reptilian, ugly, serpentine, serpentine like um, demonic spirits, you know, because they were, they were fallen angels. They were angels once. So they, they, uh, the, the Satan took a third of the angels. You know, um, he, he, that's why they look like that. They're really angels. But the thing is, they, they look ugly, really ugly. When I saw them, I know they're evil. They're evil. They, they follow, uh, the father of lies. But let me get back into it. What I saw was they put the entire self yes their entire imagine 14 15 feet tall whatever and they forced them to be on his knees and they they forced them inside entire self the head first and like it was a game to them they tortured this man like it was a game and they forced their head and their body into his rectum into his butt area and it didn't rip him apart because his body was meant to stay up intact but he could feel all the pain that's why I explained to you in certain things didn't make sense to me but they they could do that they could make his body stay intact he couldn't rip apart because they were so big but they went through his butt his rectum his anus so that they can just simply torture him and torment so he can feel the entire thing so he can experience the exact pain of hell where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth hell is real hell is real hell is real if you don't believe hell is real if you don't believe how it's real, that's on you. That is on you. Because Jesus said that any man, Jesus said, uh, any man come after me, he must deny himself, pick up his cross and follow me. That is on yourself. You believe that with your own flesh. You failed not to de deny yourself. You think it's okay to live however you want. But Jesus died so that you would not experience the torments of hell. He died so that we can have everlasting life. He died. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Right? God then sent his son in the world to condemn the world. But through him they might be saved. But he who does not believe is condemned already. Because they did not believe in the only begotten son. That he was the only way to get to heaven. That they believed that, no, I believe in Muhammad. He's a true prophet. They believed in the Buddha. They believed in Hare Krishna. They believed in the Scientology. They believed in the different religions. They believed that atheism, belief, all of those religions, all of those belief systems will lead you to hell. But only Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth. 
I am the life. He claimed it. He was it. And he proved it. He healed the sick. He cast out devils. He's the proof. He's the living proof. I am living proof. My life, I had many sins. But he saved me. He saved me from my many sins. He gave me everlasting life. I am proof. My life is a testimony. Right? My life was full of many sins. But the Lord grasped me and took me and used me. And I'm nothing without him. I am nothing. But Jesus died. He rose again for me. He rose again for you. If you believe it, you will have eternal life through Christ Jesus. If you repent, because we all must repent. God commands us to repent, every man to repent, or we will perish. Meaning that we must turn, I have a change of mind towards that thing. And we know that we are sinners. Submit unto the Holy God, the Lord Jesus Christ. Submit unto him and believe on him. If he died and rose again for you. Right? You will be saved. What the heart man believes unto righteousness, but the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Right? We must believe. Right? Confess our sins to him. He's faithful to forgive us. He is the high priest in heaven. The Lord Jesus is. He has come to give you eternal life. To those who believe on him. They will, he will never put you to shame. I'm telling you. If you ask him right now. That's what I did. I asked the Lord. Come into my life. Ask the Lord. Show me who you are. He revealed himself. And I surrender. I said Lord. I forgive me. Everything I've done. He forgave me. Washed me clean. And I said Lord. Jesus come into my life. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. And he will, he will fill you. Give you his Holy Spirit. I got baptized. Right. I got baptized in his name and I was cleansed of all my sins. The Lord forgave me and I lived a new life. Any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things have passed away and all things have come new. You have to become a new creature. You got to be born again. Not of the flesh, but of the spirit. Hell is real. That's how you avoid hell. That is the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. That is the wages that we deserve is death, is hell, right? It's because we have all sinned and fall short of the glory of God. We deserve that. That is our, that is our, our ultimate punishment that we deserve is hell. That torment that I just shared to you, that's just a glimpse of it. But there's many more torments. There's parts in hell that... That is fire, torment and hot and, and all of it is different. And hell enlarges itself without measure, the word of God say. It's not a game. And for the lukewarm Christians, the same thing is to you. As well, he said, I need to, I, I'd rather have you hot or cold, but I would not have you lukewarm. I'll spit you out of my mouth. I ain't having that. I ain't playing that game. The Lord don't play. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom. We must fear the Lord. Have a respect for the Lord. Have a healthy respect for him. Because if, there's a lot of Christians that don't respect him. There's a greasy grace going around. There's a false doctrine going around. Once saved, always saved. There is no respect and fear for the Lord. But the fear of the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom. That means you can't even have the wisdom that you need from the Lord if you don't begin with fearing him. That's the foundation. But it's not of a, a fear of the devil. That's what you don't get it twisted. But it's the fear and reverence and respect that the Lord can check you. He loves those who chastise us. He can chastise you if you want it. Paul said, woe unto me if I don't preach the gospel. He was preaching the gospel and even he had fear of the Lord. I don't fear no demon. I've seen demons before. I fear no demons. I fear no devils in hell because the Lord Jesus Christ is in my life. I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. The Lord is with me. Right? I have no fear because if you, when you wash with the blood of the Lamb, wash by the Lord Jesus Christ, you have no fear of the devil. Right? Greater is he that's in me that's in the world. 
I ain't fear no devil. I ain't fear no man. But you need to fear the one that can cast soul and body into hell. That's what it says. Man can kill your body, kill your flesh, but they can't take your spirit with you. God is the owner of your soul. Choose whom this day who you will serve. You will serve God or you serve devil. Right? Okay? And if you don't know if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ in your life, you by default you're lost. You're on your way to hell. So what are you gonna do about that? You're gonna get saved? You're saved. Right? Get saved today. Because he is Lord. Trust in him by faith. Right? If you believe in him by faith, Jesus Christ, that the Lord died for your on your on the cross for your sins and rose the third day, and you repent of your sins, you you will be saved. Right? Be they're baptized, believe, right? You will be saved. But this is a choice that you must take because time is running out. Get saved soon. Right now. Get saved. I will not even wait because how people are dying, like COVID and all that stuff. And how the world is becoming. The beginning of sorrows is creeping up. This actually might be the beginning of sorrows. We don't know. But God is coming back. Again, in the clouds to open and judge the world, right? So God is coming to judge and he's looking for the remnant, the church, those who are saints who are, are pleasing to him. And it works as important on this earth. So God bless you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pray. Thank you, Lord, Heavenly Father, Lord God. I thank you, Father, for these words, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, that these words are spirit and life, Lord God. That, Lord Father, everything that you said, Lord God, will not go in deaf ears, Lord God. That it will touch the people that are watching, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord God. Help us, Lord God. Help us to be forgive us for all our sins, Lord God. Wash us, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, to grow more, Lord Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray, Lord God, for those who are, are watching this, Lord God. Let them be convicted of their sins, Lord God. Let them, Lord Father of God, know who you are and the revelation you're suffering, Lord God. Let them get the sign, Lord God, that Jesus Christ is the way to the truth and the light, Lord God. Hallelujah. And I pray that, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, that there be, Lord God, a peace, Lord God, in this message, Lord God. And I pray, Lord God, that salvation will come from it, Lord God. They will get saved, Lord God, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. God bless you. Amen.